call to this um, York unit, it's a uh, scroll condensing unit. Um, I think it's an in as yeah, Bristol Infinity Scroll, I think. I believe these are obsolete now, I think Danfoss have took over the manufacturing of them. Um, the customers reported this the unit is tripping the um, earth leakage um, device. So uh, we'll get the mega on there and see if we can trace uh, what's causing it, whether it's a fan motor or compressor or wiring issue. Um, they have said it's been noisy for a few days, so that might point to it being a problem with the compressor. Um, maybe it suffered a mechanical failure and then subsequently burnt the motor out, but uh, we'll get the meter on there and see. Right, we've uh, cleaned some of the um, oxidisation off of the uh, Quarter inch line that goes to the pressure switch, so that should be a good earth. Um, can't really do this two handed. So we've got that in the earth terminal. The test button. Right, that shows we've got a good earth on uh, where we've grounded our um, black lead out. Um, right, let's see if we can. Some of these are quite, they don't always reach the bottom on these dim rail things, so there we go. Should be on the control circuit. So yeah, it mega ohms, that's okay. There's six, that's okay. Let's try the neutral. Hmm, that was a bit odd. Didn't seem to be able to make its mind up what to do. It's a bit more conclusive one. Maybe it wasn't touching very well. Right, that's back on that black one, I think. We might have had the, the tip um, in the little hole in the centre, which is why if, I don't like these dim rails for testing. Um, if you're very careful, you've actually got a good connection. Um, well, that's showing a short, so I think we'll take the wires off of here first. So always make a note of where the wires come, so I've drawn a little diagram and we've got uh, B for brown, B for black, B for blue, so that, that'll make a lot of sense later on. Right, we've got our wires took off of there and our red lead on there and the test button, dead short. It's going to be the same on all three unless we've got an open winding. So I, I've, I always test them all just out of uh, curiosity, really. Although one, one bad one's enough. Yeah, we'll short it out. I'm not used to using my phone as a camera. Right, this other one's died. Uh, 2.2. 0.8, so you'd expect this one to be 3 or something like that. Mm. <coughs> well, they don't quite add up. Anyway, I've shorted out, so that's. That's enough to say that's uh, faulty. Um, give that a quick buzz. Should be 
be able to give a little quick buzz on the uh, isolator as long as them wires don't move in the wind. Yeah, it's, it's off on the breaker, isn't it? This had better not be upside down. I've got a suspicion this might be upside down. For some reason, the little clock is um, at the bottom of the screen. What can you do? There we go, both the fans work. Time for a new compressor.